Hello and welcome to this BizMates question and answer video series. And today's question is a really interesting one. Uh, it's, is broken English okay for business? Mmm, interesting question. And I got this many times from many students over the years. And I want to share my answer with you. Okay, but first, let's try to understand what is broken English. Okay, because many people think this, broken English is unacceptable for business. Mm. It, because it, you sound uneducated, you sound unprofessional, yeah, you sound rude. Okay, that's not necessarily true. Okay, now broken English is English with many grammatical mistakes, yes. Okay, there are many mistakes, and that's why it sounds broken. And broken is, you know, there's very broken English and there's not so broken English. Yeah, but basically it's English with many grammatical mistakes. Yeah. But the key point in business is not, and I'm going to tell you, I think it's okay. And, and because the key point in business is whether what you are saying, the other person can understand the meaning of your sentence. I think that is important. Not whether you used in or on or at. That's not the important thing. It's better to use the correct grammar, of course. But the important thing is, can they understand your meaning? Okay. And can they understand how you feel? Because when we speak, it's not just the meaning. It's also the feeling that's, that's also communicated. So, can the other person understand the meaning of your sentence, how you are feeling, and the reaction of the other person? Is that the reaction you want? So the other person is angry or he's insulted. That's not good, right? Or, you know, he does a different action. That's not good. So these three points are important. And if you could do it with broken English, I think that's fine for business. Okay, because I'll give you an example of perfect English. Here's a perfect sentence, okay? And someone says to me, you know, we're having a party. You know, everyone is going drinking after work. And they say, Hika, Hika, you had better come to this party. And I would be insulted. I would say, what? You're telling me I have to go to this party? Because had better is like you have to. Yeah, people say it's the same as should. No, it's not the same as should. It's much stronger. It's much more direct. So the meaning, I understand the meaning. Uh, the meaning is a little bit off. His feeling is a little bit off. I think he's telling me and saying, you have to come. But he's not. So that, that, that meaning and feeling have been misunderstood. My reaction is, what? No, I don't want to go. Forget it. I'm not going to go. It's a bad reaction. So even perfect English will not get you the best result. Here's broken English now. And if you say it the right way, ah, Hika, ah, if you uh, come to a party, uh, it is fun for you. Okay, and I'll be like, oh, really? Okay, okay, yeah, sure, sure, uh, uh, Taro, I'll, I'll go to the party. Broken English, but I understand his meaning. I understand the feeling that he's saying, and, uh, and my reaction is a good one. So that's just one example, just one example of how broken English is okay in business. I hope I answered your question, okay, and I look forward to your next question. Okay, thank you.